Hello. Identifying tree species sometimes, a lot of times, seems to be overwhelming if you don't have a, a firm knowledge of it. But Kentucky is a great place in which to uh, start this uh, subject out, and here we are right in amongst uh, the trees themselves. Um, for the simple concept, um, we have a multitude of trees here in the state of Kentucky, a, a great diverse number of trees. Um, we probably have nearly 150 unique species that grow here in Kentucky. And for the forestry community, 50 of these species are commercially important uh, to us. Uh, why are they important? Uh, the economy is one of those issues. Not only for the economy of the state of Kentucky, but actually, literally, we have people knocking at the doors of Kentucky from all over the world looking for our wood uh, for a variety of products uh, throughout the world. Um, hopefully what we're going to do is, by the end of this series of videos, uh, going to give you the opportunity to have developed some skill sets. And these skill sets will give you, uh, the viewer, the opportunity to be able to go into a community such as we see right behind us and feel comfortable, at least more comfortable if you aren't right now, about how to identify um, the tree species that we have uh, before us here. And um, the thing that we're going to be doing is not memorizing species. What we could do is show you a series of videos uh, we could show you all the individual leaves of trees and we could point out the characteristics and have you memorize them. But what we're going to do is we are going to simply explain to you by a process of elimination how to identify trees by its characteristics. With uh, so many of these uh, trees that we have out there, remember I mentioned that we have possibly 150 different trees in any one site, especially in the eastern part of the state, um, it can become a little overwhelming as to how you go about doing this. So how is it that we are going to begin? Well, the best thing to do is to begin with something that is a little more familiar to you. Uh, the worst thing to do would be to take you out here into this stand of trees and simply say, go at it. Uh, what I uh, think best is to make a jumping off spot, and that would be something that you're familiar with, and that is your family and friends. And whenever you have a group of people together, uh, you will find out very quickly that you are looking at characteristics of people to identify them. You're looking at people that have different heights. You're looking at people that have different weights. How about their hair? The color of the hair, the length of the hair, the style of the hair. How about their eyes, the color of their eyes? Do they wear glasses? Uh, do they even have uh, hair on their head? These are all characteristics that we look at when we go to identify people. We're going to use the same concept and transfer that to the identification of trees. We're going to begin by looking at the individual characteristics of a tree or the leaves or the parts of the trees and say from that, uh, what are the things that we can eliminate to bring this process of tree ident identification down to a much smaller, more manageable state in which to identify. Mm -hmm.